Hey guys, what's up? Is your friendly neighborhood Ibrus here, back again with another Enter the Gungeon video. Uh, I have no use now for hegemony credits ever again, so I can't wait to see how big that number gets. I'm gonna do a run as the pilot, because now that we have unlocked the Shelatin key, obviously that means I should play the character who can potentially save keys. I think that makes sense, right? That logically, I mean, there's a connection there. Um, <laughs> it's not the, the correct way to perceive the connection, but you know what, man? You gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. That's what my dad always said. My dad has probably never said that in his life. It's definitely not the kind of saying that, uh... You really, you, you hear from... I don't know, most people? <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird saying, because, like, everybody knows what it means, but a lot of people don't have any idea how poker works. I was really close to taking damage for no good reason at all. I mean, I'm one of the people who, for a, the longest time, had no idea how poker worked. Uh, over time, I've actually kind of gained a little bit of interest in it, and done done the, the research. Also, it is absolutely my all-time top guilty pleasure. Excuse me? That's the wrong channel. My all-time guilty pleasure to watch. Yeah, look, I got a little pop-up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... Money Pit. I'm getting towards an achievement that I never cared about. <laughs> um, which one did... What does Clear do? I don't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, as far as, like, guilty pleasure television shows, the World Series of Poker easily ranks in my, like... I don't know, top two, probably. <laughs> World Series of Poker is great. Great to watch. And not only that, but also, uh, I don't know if you guys... I've ever seen it, but um, there's Poker After Dark. I don't know if it's still on TV. It, it used to be like a, I think it was on NBC. Um, that was also very nice. So I was a huge fan of that. Uh, my favorite part about Poker After Dark is the part where like everybody always like, you know, they 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 have conversations about. Hate blue chess. They have conversations about like, you know, uh, I don't know, just generally shooting the shit kind of stuff. And they actually like literally will just taunt each other about stuff <laughs> and, and try to convince each other to like go go in when they really shouldn't go in and shit like that. Um, and it's not even just that. It's like also they just taunt each other because you know they butt heads a lot on the on the whatever the thing is called tour, the world the world. What's the thing called? <laughs> that, I mean, I guess it is just the World Series of Poker. But isn't there... There's, like, a better name for it than that, right? I don't know. Um, but they butt heads a lot. Like, uh, what's his name? Helmuth? What's this? Like, Phil Helmuth or something like that? There's a dude who's, like, a known rager, you know? He gets, he gets real pissed. I mean, he's a pro... So he clearly is good enough, he's, he's won a whole bunch, but like, every time that a hand doesn't go his way, he'll fucking be ranting about it for like an hour. And he takes himself way too seriously. Um, that dude's hilarious. And I think there was a Poker After Dark with him and uh, Daniel Negranu, who, by the way, streams on Twitch every now and then. Uh, I actually, I don't know if he's actually streamed recently, but that dude is... Uh, pretty fucking funny. I think he mostly streamed Hearthstone, right? Like, Hearthstone is his guilty pleasure thing. He's gonna be Gatling going. I'm gonna be pissed. You know what? Fuck it. Should I say fuck it? Yeah, fuck it. It's not Gatling goal. It's actually kind of shocking. But yeah, so like, they, there's a lot of uh, personality. There's a lot of butting heads when it comes to poker. Oof. Ah, okay. Nope. We're, we're going for the perfect, my guy. We are, we are attempting the perfecto. And I know this is a waste of damage, theoretically. To be shooting Smiley. Despite going for... Ooh, I shouldn't have shot him. I should have let him dash. Despite going for Shades at the start, shooting Smiley is theoretically a waste of damage. Although, I don't actually remember. Do they... 
I think they might not full heal. They might only like half heal or something like that, like go up to half health or something when the other one dies. I don't remember. Um, what I will say is this current situation is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I couldn't have been a worse starting character than the pilot for this specific situation, but I think we might make it through. I do still have one more blank, and I don't need to save him for anything, so... Uh, he also totally didn't full heal, so... Uh, I don't know how if he healed at all, to be honest, because, again, I had him... I didn't even have him under half, so... It's been a long time since I've, like, messed around with Trigger Twins and tried to figure out the, the fight. I, I've mostly just been on auto... PILOT at <laughs> it! Because I'm, I'm playing the pilot! Because... <clears throat> So, I don't actually know too much about the fight and how it specifically works. I mean, Moonscraper, it's a gun. <laughs> it is an gun. You know what? Honestly, this was probably better for me. <laughs> Frankly, I think that might have been a, a positive impact. Um, hang on. What do we have in the shop again? We have Gun Friendship, which I would love. Can I afford that in the key? Ha, <laughs> damn, can I? Hello, yes, I, hello, yeah. All right, I'm not sure what that was about, <laughs> but all right. I am gonna pop this open. We got a little bomber and our key back. Let's fucking go. Actually, wait, how do I wanna hit this? Okay, so it's not that wall. I don't know, can, I've seen contrary data about where secret rooms actually can lie. Like, I've seen I've seen the idea that secret rooms cannot have things in front of them on the floor. Like, it wouldn't be able to be here. Whoops. Like, it wouldn't be able to be this wall. But I feel like I've definitely had it where it's been that wall before. <laughs> By the way, the reason I'm not aiming at the wall with Lil' Bomber is because the way Lil' Bomber works, it'll explode on the second wall hit, so. Can you fucking... Yeah, that's close enough, I think. I don't know why I'm not just trying to bounce off this wall. I don't know, maybe maybe I missed it. Maybe it, it was one of those and I missed it. Nope, okay, cool. Well, it's just a little, little waste of ammo there, no big deal. Um, we are going to go down to the Oobwet. And I'm actually pretty stoked about that, especially because we have an extra key and got Lil' Bomber, which is honestly one of the better brown tier guns. It's not the best brown tier gun, but it's definitely one of the better ones. <clears throat> the main reason that it's actually potentially pretty good is that, um, well, one, it actually can, like, kind of one-shot a lot of the earlier enemies, which is nice, but also it has some sick-ass synergies, uh... Which I don't have currently, but if we get any of the crown things, so crown of bullets, uh, coin crown, and the uh, gilded bullets. If we get one of those things, then this little bomber, what will happen is it actually gives more money drops when you kill an enemy with it. Which is fucking tight. So you get rich clearing with a pretty alright clear weapon to begin with. It's not like super exceptional, excuse me. <laughs> the table debris stopped me from firing and I hate that. Alright, why would I waste ammo on these guys? Right? Like, what, what would be the purpose of actually utilizing ammunition to kill these enemies? There's no danger with these enemies at all. Well, most of the time. Not too bad. Not, uh, not too bad. Oh yeah, this room's pretty free as well. I like that. Nice misses. <laughs> Based pilot with the greatest gun in the, in the history of the game. Now, obviously, I'm in the situation where I'm kind of a little bit on the, on the low side when it comes to dollar bills, y'all. But I believe that it should be okay. Given that we are doing the oubliette, I just kind of have to not spend money. Hello? I swapped, 
I swapped guns. <laughs> Is this not how gun swapping functions? Uh, that's okay. Don't even fucking freak out. Don't freak out. Okay, I freaked out a lot, okay? <laughs> I freaked out a large amount. We did it, but I freaked out a lot, and I apologize. Mostly to myself. I mean, the only person that in, in any amount of danger when I freak out is me. Okay, tight. I had a feeling that it would basically just be a bomber and a little bit to kill one of those dudes. I appear to have been correct. I'll get him. There we go. Did I talk about fuck back Batman yet on, on these videos? Did I do that yet? Tight. <laughs> Did I talk about that yet? I feel like I didn't, but I've talked about it so much that I think maybe I did. Uh, and if you don't know, fuck Batman is hilarious. Uh, if you if you haven't heard the news, I guess there's a TV series question mark. See, the problem is that the trailer. Even if I did like it, I wouldn't actually know what it was really advertising because of the fact that. Uh, it didn't... I didn't think it said. I mean, maybe it did and I missed it. Either way, I think it's a TV series. DC Titans. Yes, Teen Titans. Except they're not teenagers no more. And therefore, Robin is going to literally murder people and say, Fuck Batman. Uh, which is hilarious, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't know, uh, DC Titans got a trailer. At Comic-Con, I think it was. And, uh, I, I saw the trailer, I heard, I, I saw Buzz, and I was like, oh, huh, okay, I'll check out the trailer. Um, and as it turns out, the Buzz was in, it was, it was the literally, uh, it was optimal Buzz, in my opinion. Right? It was the best reason for there to be Buzz about something. Um, it's really bad. You should watch the trailer if you haven't, but I'm gonna describe some pieces of the trailer to you right now. Um, just so we can actually talk about it. So... Trailer clearly makes it, you know, very obvious that Titans is going to focus on Raven, right? She's, like, the main character, which... They're questionable, in my opinion, questionable. Um, you know, I watched the, the Teen Titans cartoon series on Cartoon Network growing up, and uh, I thought it was pretty fucking tight, and I still think it's probably pretty tight. I'm going to probably actually re-watch as much as I possibly can of it in the nearish future. Um, just to kind of, you know, be a refresher, because also it was, I mean, it was just good. It's good shit. So, uh, the thing about Teen Titans, at least the, the Cartoon Network cartoon, is that every character was, to some degree, you know, a focus, right? They all had char actual character traits that made them interesting, and they all had, you know, some episodes that were, ooh, that was a bad dodge, can't believe it worked out, that were all, you know, they all had some episodes devoted to them. Um, and they all had character flaws, and they were all unique, right? And the thing is, one of the big aspects of the Teen Titans cartoon that I remember, again, this is why I kind of want to rewatch it, because I'm not certain, was that there was, like, a lot of focus on Robin. Robin was, if there had to be one main character to choose, that's pretty fucking good. I don't know what that synergizes with, though. Moonscraper, probably? That would kind of make sense, right? They both involve planets-ish. Moon, planet. Oh, when I have this, we have a weird smiley planet. Okay. <laughs> sure. Um, but Robin would be, like, the main character of the Teen Titans TV show, in my opinion. And again, it's been a while. So, if I'm wrong, my B. Uh, this, I probably am not going to lockpick. We'll see. It'll depend if we get a key drop. If, if I don't get a key drop, I probably will lockpick it and pray. Um, but yeah, so, like, the reason that Robin was, like, the main character, in my opinion, is that basically, in Teen Titans, all the other characters have these, like, very obvious character flaws that, you know, have episodes devoted to them and stuff. But then Robin's kind of, like, he's kind of left out. He's, like, this pretty boy. He's just a superhero, right? He's a superhero sidekick boy, and that's kind of it, right? And it didn't feel like he was very flawed at all. But as the show went on, it started to reveal that that, in and of itself, is a bit of a character flaw. And they added, you know, they had quite a few, like, very interesting plot lines involving him and, and Slade. Um, 
and like Red X and all this, all this other, you know, all these interesting sort of subplotty bits that I think were pretty fucking sweet. And like, you know, that's why I would say Robin was kind of the main character. And the thing is, in Titans, they kind of have taken like, you know, from the trailer at least, a little bit of that with the whole, you know, one of the one of the bad guys. Whoopsie, dipsy bad roll. Um, one of the bad guys in the alleyway where Robin literally just, you know, murders, <laughs> unapologetically kills like four people. Oh hell yes, sling. Ugh, but I can't really afford it, can I? Alright, well, let's just keep exploring a little bit. Hang on. Um, you know, one of them is like, where's Batman? Right, when Robin shows up, and then Robin's like, fuck Batman. Right, like, <laughs> it's very obvious that they're trying to, like, riff on that whole, he doesn't like being this, this perfect pretty boy superhero sidekick, you know? But, the whole trailer is literally just focused on Raven basically just being a scared little girl, right? Except also they have to make it edgy because apparently the DC TV series now are the same thing as the DC movies where everything's got to be fucking edgy for no fucking reason. You know what? That's the secret room. I may as well just blast that dude into <laughs> a pit. Um, and so, you know, the whole, the whole trailer is like focusing on fucking Raven and she's like, I need your help. You know, you were at the circus that day, so I guess the, her origin story is, like, that she's fucking possessed by the the spirit of f some, somebody in a fucking circus who, who slipped and died or some shit. Look, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. It's really stupid, in my opinion. I mean, I don't know the full story, but what I know so far, I can say with pretty good confidence. Pretty fucking stupid. Um... And then it gets to a part where, where one of her lines is like, Sometimes, when I feel the darkness, I like it. You know, and it's like, oh yeah, that's that's li that's going on a shirt in hop Hot Topic fucking a year ago. Right? Like, that shit's already there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you know what, I'll buy a key. It's cheap enough, I'll buy it. Uh, also, getting to this is going to be a pain in the ass again. Holy shit. Actually, I think this is easier, right? should be um it's just the whole thing is fucking dumb is the thing like it's it's basically made for stupid edgy kids is what i would say uh but yeah so like I, when i first saw the trailer i actually just couldn't stop laughing at the fuck batman line because got robin who's i guess i don't know like a criminal investigator or something in this in this canon uh whatever he is doesn't really matter much. The point is that he goes into this alleyway, right? And then people start fucking dying in this alleyway, and it's clear that they're the bad guys, right? But, you know, one of the bad guys is like, where's Batman? And then Robin, after brutally murdering, like, four people, and th this includes literally stabbing a dude in the neck and stomping on another dude's neck to crack it. Um, right, like, these are not, you know, they had to die, <laughs> you know, like, they're the bad guys, and that, blah, 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 no, like, he literally, he just, he cracked the dude's neck by stepping on it, you know, the dude was down, the dude wasn't gonna stop him, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't like the ends justify the means, and like, this dude was gonna stop me from stopping them, so I had to, you know, I had to do something that I don't agree, no, like, he wanted to kill that dude, he wanted to murder him, um, so he did, and then at the end of all this, with fucking blood, a blood splatter on his face, he goes, and with 100% sincerity, he goes, fuck Batman. <laughs> and the moment that he said that line, I could not stop laughing. That line is so innately hilarious to me that I can't... <laughs> I genuinely love it, okay? I love it. I want it so bad. Honestly, can I, I, want, it on, I want it on a shirt. I'll buy it on a shirt. Just the line, fuck Batman. And then the best part is the song, which, I'm not gonna lie to you, actually, like, a pretty pretty decent song. I mean, kinda, kinda liked it. Um, but, you know, when, when I feel the darkness, sometimes I, I like it. So, uh, but the song was, like, the song that you hear while in a hot topic. You know, like, that's the one consistent thing about DC. Like, you know, Marvel... Well, it was Marvel guy, you know? Marvel's got fucking, uh, I don't know, a, a large amount of successful film franchises. 
Whoops. You know, what what was a fucking a large amount of a large amount of successful film franchises. They got whoops. <laughs> got them bad. They have a lot of uh, very good directors, a lot of money. Um and they're widely regarded as doing very positive things. And then DC is like, you know what we got? We got Hot Topic. <laughs> That's what DC got, dude. They <laughs> got Hot Topic on fucking lockdown. So the song, using the trailer, duh, is the exact song you would hear if you go into a Hot Topic today. You know, in between Black Parade and, and fucking Saturday Night. Sorry, say amen. Parentheses, Saturday Night. Gotta make sure I get it right. Gotta, gotta make sure people know that I'm hip with the kids. Although I'm not gonna lie to you, uh, I'm saying this mostly in jest because, like, I fucking, for one, I love Twenty One Pilots. I think they're fucking awesome. And their, their newest shit that just came out recently is pretty fucking tight. Um, and I think, you know, I think some of Panic at the Disco's music is, like, pretty good. And, uh, you know, and the Black Parade is a straight banger. So, like, I'm saying this in jest because I kind of enjoy the things, <laughs> and that's why I think I might kind of like that song that they use in that trailer. Um, but it doesn't change the fact that it is, like, so stereotypical it almost hurts. Uh, there you are. See, this is why I wish I had a little bomber synergy. Because it's actually good. Imagine if I was doing this, but instead of having 95 casings, I had like 800 casings. That'd be way better, right? But anyway, fuck Batman, uh, etc. Also, I'm, I'm so I'm so sorry for anybody who likes DC. Um, not for making you upset because I'm calling out DC on their their hottest new garbage fire, but uh, I'm sorry that you like DC. Sorry you were cursed this way. <laughs> uh, but like that, but unironically too as well. So. It's hilarious though, dude. If you fucking criticize DC on Twitter, whoo! They're... I've never quite understood what people mean when they say, like, Look at all these Valve drones defending Valve's every decision, even when they make stupid decisions. It's like, I've never really understood that, because, like, I mean, I'm not... You know, I don't defend Valve's dumb decisions because I like Valve products. It's just I like Valve products, and I like to give everybody basically a fair shake for whatever reason, you know. So sometimes when Valve fucks up, I'll be like, well, hang on a second. Maybe, you know, maybe it's not that bad. You know, uh, but after seeing the response to people criticizing DC things on Twitter, gotta say, I understand it now. <laughs> I understand the criticism of quote Valve drones, um, because I have seen some DC drones. Hell yeah! All right. I don't know if I actually want to use Mr. Creation Jr. It's like not very good. Yeah, it's like pretty awful. I don't know what people like. I've I've seen people say that Mr. Accretion Jr. is actually pretty fucking good. I don't know what they're doing to make it good, <laughs> because I do not understand how anybody could think it's actually a good gun. Also, good lord, I am having some trouble. <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna blank, just to be extra duper. Super mega safe. And I don't need blanks on this floor. Just next floor. Moonscraper is like undeniably a lot better than Mr. Accretion Jr. And that's fine, you know? Not everything has to be good weapon. That's a really bad shot. I don't like the way that this angles. It's like, it has a weird interaction with, like, where you're holding the gun that doesn't feel like 
anything else that works in, in a similar way. Um, also, why am I two casing short? Why is this my life? I don't want this to be my life. Can it not be my life? Chance bullets. I think that's actually pretty decent. This angle might work. Okay. Well, first of all, found it. Tight. Second of all, what the fuck was that? Is that how chance bullets works? Is that what chance bullets does? <laughs> I didn't think that's what it did at all, but like maybe that's what it does. It's a synergy. I don't know with what. Oh, all right. With that. All right. Well, so here's my issue. Um, I'm two casing short of this. And I already found the secret room and fully cleared the floor. So, I am mad. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that about describes me. Uh, there's no way to gain money, so, hey, well, fuck it, I guess. Ditch the lockpicks, yeah, let's ditch the lockpicks. And that synergizes with what? Special... Special reserve. Doesn't this make it so it's like green fire or something? And I think maybe the green fire can't hurt me. Yeah, doesn't light me on fire. It's pretty alright. I don't know if the green fire does more damage. I would anticipate that it does. Not anticipate. I would expect that it does deal more damage. But maybe it don't. And I got nothing. I got no clue. What else do I want to talk about? There was another thing that I like. I, I remembered while talking about fuck Batman. I was going to talk about something else in the middle there, and I was like, make a mental note for later, and then I just didn't. I really probably should have actually made a mental note. That sounds like it would have been pretty helpful. This is not Mr. Accretion Jr. <laughs> so is that is that what Chance World does? Uh, is it just occasionally randomly shoot a different weapon? If so, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of it. <laughs> I thought it added random effects to your bullets, right? Like, random, like, oh, this one ignites, and this one poisons, and blah, blah, blah. Um, I didn't think that it would just be when you shoot, you can, you sometimes shoot other, other weapons. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Well, I don't need blanks for anything else, so fuck it. Tight. All right. <laughs> uh, great. <laughs> Got a dueling pistol. To be fair, dueling pistol. What the fuck? I'm a little pissed. Me medium to large upset. I don't like rooms like this. I don't know. They feel kind of like just gotcha rooms, you know, where you're like, oh, it's this enemy. Oh, I see cover, and then you go towards the cover, but the cover's a fucking trap. Like, I can't always recognize every single fucking room in the game, you know? I'm pretty good at recognizing some rooms that I've seen before, but sometimes you just... You, you just don't remember, you know? You see a room and you're just like, Ah, could it be this room or that room? It doesn't feel very good when you get got because of it. Um, so the M1911 I think is actually like an okay pistol. Like, I'm normally very against the pistol weapons in this game, because they tend to suck. <laughs> but I think M1911 is one of the few decent ones. And in particular, I do know... Oh, I see you, bitch. Actually, yeah, this one will be fine. I fucking hate this stupid enemy! Dog! Can you fuck off? <laughs> it's a really annoying enemy. Damn, I actually, like, there's not a lot of enemies that I straight hate in this game. Honestly, though, that's one of the worst enemies in the game. I kind of hate that they added it. Like, I don't really think it has, uh, I mean, it's a unique-ish enemy, so I guess that's kind of cool. But, like, oh, for fuck's sake, that's just me playing my garbage. Um, but, like, the enemy just sucks, and it's not fun to fight. Because it's a random spread when the, the one shoots, and that's, like, you could kill that one, 
but it's just as tanky as the real one, but doesn't make any progress towards killing the real one. And it just sucks a lot. Yeah, that's a planet. Didn't really want to shoot a planet. Preferred shooting a charge shot. Yep, would have would have really preferred shooting a Molotov there. Okay, that's two now, twice. All right. So interesting how Moon Scraper works. I don't quite understand it. So like everything else just straight replaces, but Moon Scraper is like, yo, I got you, fam, and it's just like alongside the other weapon. <laughs> yeah, kind of don't like this. Kind of not a fan. Hmm. Hmm. This run sucks. It really doesn't feel very good at all. I mean, we're just we're fighting the boss. It's fine. Yeah, I would love to. Oh, right, okay. I totally forgot for some reason how this shit worked. Um, also, I really should just be using, like, Moon Scraper. So, yeah, when you, like, swap off the spacebar item. When you go to a different one, it, uh, what'll happen is, oh god, what'll happen is, it will cancel the first one, which I totally forgot was the way it worked. But now I remember, and it'll be fine, I think. I hate this attack sometimes. I don't actually know if Moonscraper gains basically any benefit at all from- Oh, it totally does. Never mind. I'm, I was- I was watching his health there. Very clearly gains quite the heavy benefit. <laughs> I was like kind of unsure though. And I know it works totally well with double vision. Maybe not like the best. But it does- I mean it does shoot too. But the- the accuracy of the second one is like very weird. And inconsistent. Eh, bubble blaster. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this run's not going too great. Getting approximately 18 million bottom tier things. You know what? We're gonna use a key to pop this open, because, you know, when in Rome, you, uh, you just want to continue to get trash garbage. I think that's the saying. If that's not the saying, I mean, it really should be. For sure. I hate this. <laughs> Get the fucking fuck out of here. That's nice. Wish I could change the aim of the moon scraper. That triggers off chance bullets. Maybe chance bullets. Oh fuck! All right, nice roll. <laughs> Maybe chance bullets actually isn't that bad. It feels pretty awful though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, it's green. Okay. Well, that made everything a lot better, I'm pretty sure. So, I do thank you for Unity. It's very, very kind. It's still kind of trash, but, like, it is a lot better than it was. The fucking fucking door! <laughs> Goddamn doors! <laughs> Dude, again. Literally, my the bane of my existence are fucking door frames. I don't have the, the thing to actually pick that lock now. Dropped it for two offensive space items, which I think was still a good choice. Ugh, door frames, man. Door fucking frames, dude. <laughs> the best part about this run is how little actual good things are in the uh, the shop. There's none. Nothing. I mean, th we got the, the M1911, which is approximately mediocre. Um, <laughs> chance bullets can you don't, sir. Just really would prefer to just shoot the gun that I have. <laughs> 
And I, look, I do really want to drop chance bullets because of this. But the thing is, why just drop... Oh yeah, great. Great, no, that's tight. Why drop it when I could potentially sell it later? You know what I mean? Why 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 do something for free? Thank God. I actually was like really hopeful we would get this. Alright, well now there's there's no doubt in my mind we're buying this key. Um, I'm tempted to buy that, but first things first, we got seven in there, so six. We're gonna go six. Because I'm already missing one. So one, two, three. Four, five. So we should. Yep, we're missing six right now, and this is the last one, and we're rich. Okay, tight. So we have a key. So blurp. Hello, sir. Please give me anything good. Um, right. There is still more to explore. My mistake. <laughs> Oops. All right. I somehow completely missed this. I don't know how, but here I am. I mean, you're dead. You're just frozen, so it'll take a second here. There you go. Alright, what you got, bud? What you got for me? Magic bullets. Alright, that's probably fine, to be honest. <laughs> I kind of hate it, but it's probably fine. Um, actually, yeah, we do want to go back here real quick. Like, I know... I, I definitely had secret rooms in Link's room. Like, he says, already checked. But I, I think he's a liar. Also, I'm... This, this poor nickel dude is is trying to fucking find me so bad. All right, this one's pretty fun. Pretty alright. Any second now, this nickel's gonna be zooming in. There it is. There it is. Think. All right, so let's check this wall. Let's check this wall. Let's check this wall. Did I find it already? I'm trying to think. No, I totally didn't. There's no way. Now. Worst case scenario, if I just don't find it, guess what? I'm just gonna blank the blank shrine again. Well, I might blank here. I mean, I have money, so actually, yeah, let's just random blank here. The question is, do I want to buy, like, three blanks and waste money, but potentially get something sweet? Probably not. Let's just buy the M1911 and, uh, peace out, I think. Burr, <coughs> <coughs> Hello is a chamber fool. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I hate chance bullets. <laughs> this might actually just be complete fucking shit. But again, you know, why do something for free when you can get paid? What do I want to ammo up? Probably. No, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> this is my clear gun for right now, so. Actually, you know what? Fuck that is my clear gun. Green scraper is my clear gun. Green scraper is, like, actually a pretty decent weapon. I definitely underrated this shit in the past. It's not, like, super exceptional by any stretch of the imagination. I'm getting two. Um, but it's, it's like, it's good enough at what it does, and has decent-ish ammo. And I guess with this synergy, we do get an orbital with it, so we get better defensive things. But simultaneously, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not blowing the doors off or anything. Nice, good cannonball, son. It's interesting that when we shoot the Molotov... From not the Molotov, it doesn't have this energy. It, it makes sense. 
mostly. <laughs> it's just it doesn't feel great. Didn't even see this little boy. Okay. Great. May as well pop. Well, that's empty. That sucks. Didn't even see him down here. <laughs> How did I not see him down there? That's bizarre. All right, well, let's... I mean, I guess maybe the chance bolts is actually making my like worst guns a lot better or something. But simultaneously, it's making decent guns like worse. So maybe it, it does indeed suck dick. He actually got that off despite being dead well before it even began to launch. Hey, right, that's, I mean, but it wasn't even, like, before he began to launch. Like, literally before it even began to form. <laughs> Motherfucker was firing that shit before he even conceived of it. Nice shot. Sick aim, bro. Really loving that one. Again with the, oh, okay. I mean, maybe Chance Bullets is, like... Something that I should actually be down with? I don't know, it's, it's really hard to say. Because, like, part of me goes, it's obviously not very good. But then another part of me goes, yeah, but, like, what if we use it with, like, machine pistol, and we just trigger our other guns with, like, 50% of the shots? I don't know when to roll. I hate this enemy so fucking much. Every time... Yeah, and then they f he fucks you up in, like, various ways, right? Now we're missing. Is it just the currently used gun or something? I don't know. I'm gonna try out- I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Stop chasing me so close. What the fuck? You can't actually avoid it! God. Fuck this game sometimes. I, I'm gonna open this whenever I get the opportunity to. I just don't know when the opportunity is gonna arise. Is the thing. Why would you? Why would you aim there? What did you gain from aiming there? It was just a straight miss. I mean, I guess it it must have been the triple shot, and he must have actually just aimed it at me, and it just so happened that you know the the one of the side ones because he shoots in like the things at three. One of the side ones must have just coincidentally been aiming at the exact location that I ended up after a roll. But I, at the same time, it's like, I don't know, man, I didn't see the middle one. I didn't see the one that was actually aimed at me, theoretically. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I agree. <laughs> man, I'm really just not getting any drops. I'm not finding the shop. Did find an item room that's pretty good. Well, I mean, that's actually, like, quite good. Alright, we're good. Got three am or three armor. That's one of the reasons, by the way, that junk is actually decent now. Um, I mean, junk has always been better than a lot of the completely random drops out of breaking a chest. Um, I mean, certain consumable, like if you get a key, which seems to be so incredibly rare that I actually haven't seen it in the past hundred hours of playing the game. Um, <laughs> so maybe, maybe it's not possible anymore. I think. I am so incredibly upset. And we're not even gonna make it in time to fuck this dude up, I don't think. Please! Oh my god! We chickened him, thank god. Here's the shop! Great! What a good shop! One key? It's better than zero, I guess. Frost amulet, which is like technically fine-ish. Uh, and I guess the anvil. Let's buy that, cause fuck it. And you know what, we're gonna open this here red box. It's an eye patch. Great. Uh-huh. Oh no, it totally fucked all my guns. Isn't that, isn't that sick? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rust Belt. Like, like, looking ass piece of shit garbage, man. For being so fucking hard to dodge, because the only the only way 
to know that he's about to attack is his flashing that he does at uh, like just complete what seems to be a completely random time. I know it's not completely random, but like, fuck does it feel like it. A blank. How wonderful. Okay. Ammo's good. Put that in the scraper of moons, because this is still my best boss killer. <laughs> what the fuck are these guns? Give me a good gun, dude. Like, one would be nice. Do I really have to prove my skill in this game this badly that you want to give me basically just straight zero good guns? Look, man, I, I can win with straight garbage, right? Just give me a ah, good gun. <laughs> just so everything feels better. Uh, also, I'm back up to three. I don't exactly understand how... Oh, maybe you have to pick up ammo. Hang on. Did that bring this back to three? Oh, okay. So if you pick up an ammo crate, it fixes it. I right, understood. Well, I don't have a key for that, which is, I mean, just... Just... Ah. It's just, just beautiful. Oh, great. Kill pillars. I can't deal damage! Where's my damage? Yo, I don't have a weapon that deals damage to kill pillars. <laughs> to be fair, I, I'm not shooting... A single one. I'm not focusing a single one. I'm I'm splitting between all of them, but simultaneously, like knock off, right? I mean, that's how I feel right now. Just kill, kill that one. Kill kill this one. Kill this one, and then focus this dude. I mean, I did it without taking a hit, and I only used one blank, so that's kind of nice. But, like, uh... Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you. Holy hell, that feels awesome. Also, what are the... What is this accuracy? I mean, it's the eye patch is what it is, right? <laughs> that's the accuracy. Is. Um... God, gold gun is... That is a, a blessing. Old gun is, is an incredible blessing. Thank you so much, game. I, I really, honestly, like, you know, I, I, I shit-talk to you a bit, right? And I'm not gonna not shit-talk you anymore. But what I will say is thank you for giving me a good gun. Because I do like a real monsters. All right, hello, Mr. Shopkeep. What do you have? Probably nothing. I'd rather actually just save the money and hopefully get up to the amount to buy. I don't know, like an A tier item from the from the Ford shop or something like that. Because we have ah uh, real monsters, but we don't have many real monsters. So um, I would really like. Excuse me. That was a fully charged shot. Where did it go? It got eaten. Or maybe it got turned into. What did it get turned into? Got turned into something that didn't do anything at all. <laughs> Just easily dodge this. Sir, can you please, thank you, <laughs> become deceased? What the fuck hit me? Oh, come on, I didn't even see it, dude. I just, all, all I want to, you know, all I want is to, like, see their shot. I'm not that bad at tracking. I'm just bad enough that sometimes I completely fucking miss something and get pissed. Also, <laughs> look, it's a bubble. <sighs> chance bullets are so great. <laughs> I love chance bullets so much because <laughs> sometimes you get a bubble because you get bubble blast. Just g give me a reason to fucking ditch these fucking weapons. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna machine pistol. Machine pistola. Actually seems okay. Yeah, alright. We'll, we will machine pistola. 
Ah, yes. No, my favorite- that's honestly, like, my, my all-time favorite thing that happens in this game. All-time fucking favorite. 100% favorite thing ever is when it bugs, and, uh, you just- you just don't actually- you're not allowed to see where the hammers are gonna land, and you just don't know what room it was, because, you know, sometimes you can't know every single fucking room in the game. Uh, and so the hammer just lands on top of you. Because you should've known better. You should've known that that was that room. It wasn't the other dead blow room. It was that dead blow room. Idiot. Good news is, we do have a black market. Bad news is, uh, I don't really understand what I'm gonna do when we get there. I'll be able to buy, like, a thing. <laughs> I guess maybe not though. We could we could maybe buy some more shit. This is a nightmare. Please cease. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that a lot more. And just a little bit short again to the black market. In case you don't know how this works, by the way, uh, black market you can only access it if you have either some curse, which I believe I have zero. Fairly certain I have zero. I've seen zero jammed enemies. Normally, if I have one curse, I get a, about like a 50% rate of jammed enemies. Um, so I believe I have zero. Or you can have 100 casings. Either way, you will be allowed into the black market. So obviously, I'm only one casing away from getting in, and there is said casing. I will go to it now. And if you don't meet those requirements, it'll just spit you out and uh, body you, basically. I also heard um, it's not beam weapons, right? Or is it? Is it liquid weapons or beam weapons? So, let's, let's see. Does this do anything? Mmm, okay, bubble. Great. Actually, wait, what? Maybe the bubble blaster actually would work. Hell. Fucking. Yes. I, so somebody said that in my chat, and I was like, that's a funny joke, and then I looked into it. Apparently that's just the way it works. Apparently that's just literally it. <laughs> Apparently if you just shoot a fucking... Just like a, a, a water or a, a liquid based weapon into the, the mouth, the clown mouth, you know, like it, at, at like a carnival, basically. Uh, it gives you like an A tier gun. And I was like, that would be hilarious. What a funny joke. And yeah, and then I, on the wiki, it was just like, this is literally what happens. How, why, why would you lead the shot that well? You never led the shot that well. I hate this a lot. That's a good one to get from chance bullets, though. <laughs> I will say. It doesn't seem to work with the default weapon, which makes sense, you know? That would be a little ridiculous. However, it is pretty nice with, uh, with machine pistol. I might even put ammo into the machine pistol. Just for this reason. Just because it shoots so many damn bullets. Don't teleport. You teleported, you fuck! It's empty! My life is ruined! Hmm, what are we doing? So I want the AK-47. Duh. So I, I really want to, like, find the shop and buy two keys. We have every single shop. <laughs> They're all here. We have access to literally all shops. Which is good. Yet, fucking don't spawn behind me! I get, get jupiter son. Now, I just, I really want, like, a regular shop, though. I want to find my regular shop, though. My my main reason for wanting to find the regular sharp, sharp? <laughs> the regular sharp. The main reason I want to find it is because I would like it to have keys. And I would like to utilize said keys to open... Well, not, not actually to open boxes. To buy the AK-47 to open boxes. I'm not going in that room yet. Just want to find the shop. That's all I want to do. Just find the shop. Don't want to get bodied by a fuse or anything. 
You, you motherfucker. I see you, bitch. Don't think I didn't see you. I, I, I did the thing again. I did the thing where I just got hit by a lead bullet. Not lead as in, like, the, the, the metal. I would like to shoot this enemy, please, chicken. Why are chickens so much tankier than even just enemies? They're the tankiest thing in the entire fucking game. I have no keys in the shop. This, and, and there's just no good weapons either. This is literally just my nightmare. <laughs> I mean, there's Daruma. I'll probably spend my key on Daruma. Or I guess if I get one key, it'd be okay. Because then we could get the, uh, the Mimic Tooth Necklace. That wasn't the, uh, <laughs> the shot from this weapon. I don't think. <laughs> A little weird. <laughs> a, little, a little wonky there. Uh, I don't remember what the, like, best angle is here. Or the timing. I think it's that. Yeah. Tight. The Gungeon. I'll take it. What is this synergized with? I couldn't tell you. What engine do you use? With Unity. It shoots... So it shoots in clusters rather than individuals. It's like, probably, honestly, it's probably the same number of bullets coming out. It's just that it's in clusters, thus saves ammo, I think. That's my assumption, at least. God, wouldn't it be fucking cool if I could stop shooting bubbles? I should really just get rid of the bubbles. I'm not sure what my, my purpose is to keep the bubble blaster. Seems like it's not helping at all. <laughs> I have no keys, I mean. I may as well just go into these, these, uh, nice little chest rooms. God, I wish I had one more fucking key. Two would be tight. One would be good enough. Don't have any keys for sale. I mean, I'm gonna go fight the dragon, and we're gonna use the gungeon, and hopefully it'll be pretty fucking good. I also use AU gun, but, I mean, theoretically, because of unity, we should be dealing a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Thanks, Phil. This is with uh, Potion of Gun Friendship. And then this is with Double Vision. It's very peculiar how this is functioning. It's, like, pretty good, though? I also keep scratching my nose, which I'm certain is gonna body me soon. How? I mean, you're dead, so that's good. Oof. Barely had a, a route through there. Made it, though. Should, yeah. Okay. Probably should use the AU gun for this for this phase. I I keep scratching my fucking nose. Something's going on with my nose, dude. I'm getting I'm getting an allergic reaction to this run. Terrible rolls. I am honestly shocked that I actually like didn't get bodied. Oh, you fucker! It literally that was the last hit. <laughs> Like, it's not magic pixel yet, but the AU gun should be big enough chunks that one shot should do it here. I mean, it might not, so I will pop the, the double vision. That's basically a free roll. Yeah, no, it was just one shot. Told ya. What a bizarre run. What a, what a just, what a weird fucking run this is. Alright, so what are we doing then? <laughs> I think we're destroying about 8 million boxes. They're all green. So hopefully that means, I don't know, they have better shit in them. I mean, they probably don't. Health. I guess health is actually, like, pretty okay. Look, I'm so sorry, green chests. I'm buying Daruma. In case that hasn't, you know, in case that's not abundantly clear. I am indeed purchasing Daruma. You at? I'm 
what am I ditching though? Which one's better? Gun friendship or double vision? Probably gun friendship, so. Sorry, double vision. I mean, you did serve me well, to be fair, but. Peace. Um, I could buy these things to pick up some curse if, you know, I feel like it, I guess. Strafe gun's pretty good. Monster blood's fine. I don't know, I got, I got options. For sure. Um, I might just want the amulet? I don't know. I think I want... Okay, you know what? Let's get Strafe Gun, for one. It apparently synergizes with something. I didn't know about that before I picked it up. Ooh. Yeah, I don't really know what that is doing. Is it maybe BSG related? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um... So now my question is between Monster Blood and... Wait, can I still afford this? No, I can't. Okay, so I guess it's pretty much just Monster Blood, probably. It's like a... It's a hard container. Oh, I should have double-checked this. I don't think there's anything in here, though. I, I took one... Yeah, I took one cursory glance and was kind of like, meh. Doesn't look very good. I, I, I think I still agree with myself on that. Um, and then as far as where the secret room could be, I will just shoot around this room. I don't... I assume it can probably be off this room. Uh, I don't know for sure, though. Let's just do some shooting. Can totally be off this room. Should have probably found this a lot sooner. <laughs> uh, than what I ended up doing. That's plenty of ammo. Um, this guy has, like, none. This guy has literally none. And this guy's probably better with what we got going on right now. <sighs> but there wasn't a key in there, so it didn't matter. And I can't afford armor. I can't afford gun knight. I can't afford anything. Alright, well, this garbage run might actually just kill the lich, so... Honestly, can't wait. <laughs> Just can, like, cannot wait for this. This is going to be great. Uh, how much health do I have? One, two, three, four, five, nine. Okay. It's a lot of heart containers. <laughs> I can take 18 non jammed hits before dying. It's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Hey, might go, hey, Uber Goose. I know that you keep bitching about, you know, the whole bubble blaster situation. Why don't you fucking drop it? No, shut up. Main reason, by the way, that I don't want to drop it is because it's technically adding to my current loadout. Technically. It's like occasionally taking away, but I think on average it's loading more frequently than it is. Or it's loading? It's adding more frequently than it is taking away. It is a, I believe, a net positive. Nice walking, me. Great job. Good moves. Keep it up. Where are you going, my guy? How is there more? Oh, it's this dude. Sure. You motherfucker. I hate wiggly bullets. They're so inconsistent. Look at that. Three in a row. That's crazy. Or as they would say across the pond, tree in a row. Yeah, I really should be, uh, blanking a lot. <laughs> oh, I have the Ruma. It's just a waste of... Waste of an item slot if I'm not actually blanking a lot, so... Should do that. Yep, sick. We'll refill this. This is my... Very clearly, this is my clear gun. I do have the room of backup though, so I shouldn't be afraid to use it. I am afraid. I'm not actually afraid. We got a, we got a little Pluto. Got him. Got him with Pluto. Also, what the fuck? Why is Pluto here? I thought this thing was about planets. Technically, the science doesn't, you know, it's not specifically planet-related, it's just that's how planets are made. You can, I mean, moons are made the same way, so, like, yeah. It's, like, not really, not really wrong. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it's not really wrong to have Pluto, but, like, you know, I mean, kind of, kind of feels wrong, you know what I mean? Pluto didn't, didn't earn that spot, in my opinion. I hate this a lot. 
The good news is eventually we'll have the Roomba back up and we'll be able to actually deal with all these bullets. The downside is we don't have it up yet. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, dude. I'm gonna get hit in every room before the, the, this run ends. Every single fucking room is gonna bop me, dude. Cause I'm so bad and I'm just gonna keep walking into bullets all the time. Cause I'm using a shit gun with shit accuracy, hoping to get a fucking BSG at some point. Also, to be fair, the shit accuracy, not strictly this gun. <laughs> it's not necessarily a machine pistol problem. I mean, a machine pistol does have bad accuracy. Get Jupiter, bitch. But, I mean, I do have eye patch. <laughs> and that definitely does the opposite of help the accuracy situation. I fucking rolled the bullet, and you didn't give me the option to the room. See, this is, this is the problem with the Ruma. It's not that the Ruma has a problem. It's that this game is finicky as fuck sometimes. Just, just clean them up. Also, hot damn, how in God's name do I find secret rooms on bullet hell so often, completely accidentally? This is incredible. This is genuinely incredible. Alright, well now, now that I'm actually like kind of down to just ditch some weapons, now that I have a, an opportunity maybe, to maybe ditch some Garbo. I got a lot of Garbo, yeah, dueling pistol can get in there. Um, I, I think I'll keep this guy, we'll get rid of the M1911. Hot damn, there we go. We ditched a bunch of trash. Trash-ish. <laughs> we got the kill to Hydra. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's pretty good, right? Where's its Where's its ammo? I'm missing health. Is it percent based? I thought it was just straight up, like heart container based. Maybe not though. Or maybe it doesn't count if the damage is before I actually pick it up or something. I don't know. I don't know. Something's going on. It should have a bigger clip right now though. feels pretty good. I'm also not getting any other guns while using this. I don't know if that's, like, intentional. I don't know if that's how this is supposed to work. Oh, come on! That wasn't even aimed at me! That was aimed below me. This is... It was aimed so far below me that it should below me. God damn. I'm actually so mad, dude! I keep getting hit by dumb shit. Oh, no. It's totally shooting some other shit. Okay wasn't for a while, or I wasn't noticing for a while. One of those two. These are mine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sayonara. And it was so ha e i Hi, blow me. Please just blow me. I was really trying to find a way to do it. But the problem is, is like, the word hi would imply that it... Okay, there. So maybe you have to take damage for it to update? I don't know. Like, the problem is, the the, the, the thing is, is hi, right? Because she's so high, high above me. She's so lovely, right? Like, that's the thing. So it doesn't really work with like below. I do fu oh, fucking right. The room is my other fucking thing. <laughs> I mean, this is still gonna work just fine, but <laughs> that is just obviously a misplay. An embarrassing one at that. Like I shouldn't ever get hit on the lich while I have the Ruma. So it, fe it feels pretty bad to be hit. On the Lich, when I have the Ruma. That's right. So we're gonna start with Potion of Gun Friendship. We're gonna go pretty fucking ham, and then I'll try and remember to swap the Daruma. 
Let me just do one more little quick test, Aroni. Okay, it, it would appear as if... Well, hang on, do this, and then uh, as far as... Yeah, probably machine pistol. No. Nope. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Just trying to, you know, trying to be safe. Um, <clears throat> so, like, I still can't quite tell, but I'm pretty sure if I swap my current spacebar item, it'll cancel the effect of the other one. I think. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't think I have to use to. I think that there are just specific examples where that doesn't happen, um, and the big one that I'm thinking of is, of course, the cheese wheel. I hate this attack. Like, I hate that he can just be like, oh, now I will do this thing that is basically just unfucking reactable. Fuck you, bud. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, you know, if I'm doing this here, you know? And then after, I, yeah, like that. If he follows up one attack with just the sudden shootout of the other things, it's like, it feels really kind of bullshit sometimes. Anyway, we did it. It was, like, pretty easy, despite getting my first A-tier weapon <laughs> in the forge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, right? What were my weapons? I'm pretty sure the, the gold gun was literally the first A-tier thing that I saw. Or, was it the gold gun first, or the... No, it was the BSG first. Yeah, it was BSG and then I and then I did the game and got gold gun right? I don't remember. I think so. I think I had actually just like so much trash. No no no, I got Gungeon from Gun Game. Where did I get Gold Gun? I don't remember. I had both of these. I had BSG from peeing in the clown mouth. I don't remember where Gold Gun came from, but I thought it was on the forge. Look, man, I don't know. Oh, was that a Lead God run? Hot damn, I'm so good. <laughs> ah, what the fuck is this, dude? Holy shit, what a bad run that turned into... Good? I don't know. I mean, we didn't fight the rat. If I fought the rat, that run was a thousand percent dead. Right? I had zero chance on the rat on that run. So I'm glad that I actually did, it was two casings short. Because... You know, it turned into, like, a pretty sweet one. Let's have more shroomers. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to all the kitchen. I'll see you guys back in the next one.